These are the Daily Tech headlines for Monday, July 4th, 2022. I'm Rich Straffolino. Amazon will open its first micro-mobility hub in Hackney, East London, which will use fleets of e-cargo bikes and on-foot delivery staff to replace van deliveries. Bikes will be operated by several partner businesses, not Amazon directly. The company plans to open more of these hubs across London this year in efforts to make more zero-emission customer deliveries. In a letter to Republican senators, TikTok said it's working on a program called Project Texas that will make substantive progress toward compliance with the final agreement with the U.S. government that will fully safeguard user data and U.S. national security interests. The letter states that some China-based employees have access to TikTok data but are overseen by U.S.-based security teams. It also reiterated its goal to move all U.S. data and AI training to Oracle's cloud infrastructure. The analysts at IDC report global VR headset shipments increased 241% on the year in Q1, with Meta holding a 90% market share. ByteDance's Pico VR business came in second with a 4.5% market share. IDC expects VR shipments for all of 2022 to increase 26.6% of the year to 13.9 million units. Attackers used malware dubbed Session Manager to backdoor Microsoft Exchange servers belonging to government and military organizations from Europe, the Middle East, Asia, and Africa. Apparently, since at least March 2021, it's been used in the wild without being detected. Researchers at Kaspersky said Thursday, the Session Manager backdoor enables threat actors to keep persistent, update-resistant, and rather stealth access to the IT infrastructure of a targeted organization by gaining access to company emails, Update further malicious access by installing other types of malware or manage compromised servers. Court filings show the cryptocurrency hedge fund Three Arrows Capital filed for Chapter 15 bankruptcy in New York. This follows a British Virgin Island court ordering the liquidation of the company last week following the default of a $660 million loan. The U.S. bankruptcy filing will protect stateside assets while that order is carried out. Three Arrows managed a fund worth an estimated $10 billion in assets as recently as March. Meta announced it will shut down its Novi digital wallet pilot on September 1st. It plans to repurpose the digital wallet tech into future products. Meta launched a Novi pilot in October in the U.S. and Guatemala, using a stablecoin to let users make fee-free instant payments. Tesla confirmed in a new software update that its vehicles scan roads for potholes. The data is downloaded by other vehicles. A new Tesla Adaptive Suspension feature will adjust ride height to compensate for these. The feature is available on Model S and X vehicles with adaptive suspension. The not-for-profit Software Freedom Conservancy, backed by Google, Red Hat, and Mozilla, has called on the open-source community to move off Microsoft-owned GitHub. The problem is Microsoft's Algorithm Assistant Copilot is proprietary, despite being built on the OpenAI Codex, which was trained on public source code and natural language models. Microsoft did not disclose much about how it generates its source code suggestions, and the SFC is asking it to disclose the names of copyright holders and or the names of Git repositories that were used in the training set used for Copilot. Microsoft claims training on public data is fair use. Ubisoft will end support for online features on several older titles as of September 1st, which will end access to DLC. Titles impacted include Assassin's Creed 2 and 3, Far Cry 3, and Prince of Persia The Forgotten Sands. Remastered versions of games will retain online features. Google began rolling out an update to the Keep note-taking app to support drag-and-drop functionality to third-party apps. This can be used on Android phones and tablets while in split-screen mode to move images between the apps. Android police passed on a report from WhatsApp Beta Info that WhatsApp began work on a feature to hide a user's online status on iOS. Privacy settings show the feature will let you hide status altogether or limit visibility to select contacts. No indication when the feature could ship. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reports that the Apple Watch Series 8 will include a body temperature sensor. Rather than provide exact temperature readings, the sensor will send notifications when detecting fevers, recommending to use a dedicated thermometer or see a doctor. German also said the second-generation AirPods Pro will not include heart rate or body temperature monitoring. GM's autonomous cruise unit launched commercial robo-taxi service last month in San Francisco. Last week, a group of driverless cruise taxis stopped in traffic, blocking streets in the city. Witnesses claim cruise employees showed up at the incident within 20 minutes, but took hours to remove the vehicles. 
A cruise spokesperson acknowledged the incident, but offered no details on why it happened. At WWDC, Apple announced a CarPlay feature that would allow for navigating to and buying gas directly from an infotainment screen. The parent company of Sinclair Oil, HF Sinclair, told Reuters it plans to implement this feature with more details in the coming months. Users would need to download a fuel company's app and set up payment details there, after which it could be used through CarPlay. And finally, the Twitter Blue subscription launched with the ability to customize the app's navigation bar, but at launch, this was limited to iOS. Twitter updated its Android app to now support the feature. Remember, for more discussion of the tech news of the day, subscribe to Daily Tech News Show at dailytechnewsshow.com. You can find show notes and links to all these headlines there as well. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time. And from all of us here at Daily Tech Headlines, remember, have a super sparkly day.